Okay, this is the gym where we go wee, where we spin around all these fun things and twirl about and have all this fun and awesomeness. Um, having a forgetful moment there. <laughs> we just spin round and round. It's not a very difficult gym to get through. Just have to think smart and you'll be fine. Okay, so as usual, he'll save, do all that good stuff. You need to do it. He'll help. Okay, this is Wyona, one of my favorite gym leaders as well. I just love this gym in general. I just like, with grace and triumph and... Anyway, Wyona, one very graceful gym leader. Five Pokemon. Starting off with Soul Blue, level 29 normal flying type with the moves Parish Song, Mirror Move, Safeguard, and Aerial Ace. Uh, Parish Song is probably the only thing you really need to worry about because then your Pokemon will turn faint in three turns if you don't switch it out. Wow, Altaria. Wasn't expecting that. Altaria is a dragon flying type. One of the first dragon types you've probably encountered in this game. Level 33 with the moves Earthquake, Dragon Breath, Dragon Dance, and Aerial Ace. A very, very strong Pokemon, and Dragon Dance is gonna be evil. You need to kill this thing off before it gets too many Dragon Dances off. Because not only does it speed her up, but it also uh, powers her up. Whoa, a switch, that's weird. Okay, Tropus, Grass Flying type, level 29, Sunny Day, Mirror Move, Solar Beam, and Synthesis. Of all of our Pokemon, this is probably the most, like, probably what you'd call misfit of the bunch. It's definitely quite a different type of Pokemon, and mostly because it's such a grass type. It's just got that grass type about it. Uh, Solar Beam does take a turn to charge up, but if Sunny Day's in effect, it will hit right away. And Synthesis would heal more hit points if Sunny Day's in effect. So, it could be a very mean and nasty Pokemon, but it's it really depends on if Sunny Day's in effect. Pelipper! Quite an interesting choice for her team. Level 30, it's a water flying type with water guns, supersonic, protect, and aerial ace. If I'm correct, supersonic's the move that confuses you, and if I'm correct, then that's a pretty evil move. You want to watch out for the confusion it brings. Uh, for the most part, though, you'll notice everything except her tropus has uh, aerial ace. So, a good electric type move will just Pummel Pelipper. You have nothing to worry about against it if you have that correct. Okay, time to make a decision. I'm gonna try an interesting move here. I'm gonna send out my new Absol into this battle. Uh, you already know the statistics and stuff for Altaria, so I'm not gonna bother repeating. Uh, but like I said, Dragon Dance is what is gonna murder you, so you have to be very careful in this battle. Altaria is kind of like Flannery's, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Torkoal. <laughs> All of the gym leaders, they have their one Pokemon that just annihilates. Uh, Roxanne's Nose Pass, Brawly's. Ah, uh, that might hurt. Ew. Brawly's, uh, Makuhita, the Manetric. You, you get the point. Because I'm fearing for my life right now, I'm gonna 
hope that I could get off a leech seed before dying. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Man, this could be bad. Okay, Toriko should be able to finish things up here, if I'm correct. Ooh, I forgot about Earthquake. Darn, she's so strong! I hate this battle! I should've used Iron Defense. Burn. No, Citrus Berry! Ugh, I'm doomed! Doomed to die! <laughs> Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. This is a very unpleasant situation I just got myself in. Okay, Skarmory, rescue me. Please save me. You want ice-type moves against this thing, and I don't have ice-type moves. That is why I'm in such a predicament here. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Not good. Oh, I need one more fly off. Ah. This is cruel and unusual punishment. I'm not supposed to lose like this. I'm still faster than it has like three dragon dances off. Oh, not anymore. The only thing I have going for me right now is Skarmory has insane defenses. As soon as Skarmory goes down, I think I'm doomed. So, I really need to make best of my Skarmory right now. It's my last hope. Darn gym leader is smart too, knows when to use Dragon Dance and when to attack. Well, this has been certainly one of the closer gym battles I've had. What? Are you kidding me? This cannot be. No, no, this will not happen. This will not happen to me. I'm gonna have to use a hyper potion next round. Okay, if you're allowed to use two hyper potions, I'm allowed to use one. I certainly did not expect this much trouble from this gym battle coming into this, but apparently, yeah, she is good, and I am, my levels are probably about right where you want them to be at this point in the game. Technically, out of all eight gym badges, this is the one gym badge you can technically kind of like get away with not getting it right at the moment. You can, because you don't need the fly HM, but you can pretty much fight this gym battle whenever you want. Whew! Made that one out barely. That was a tight one. Last up on her roster, the best for last and the ultimate of them all, Skarmory, level 31, still flying type, with the moves Sand Attack, Fury Attack, Still Wing, and Aerial Ace. I could read that from memory. I, I, didn't, I don't even need to look at any sort of notes for that. I got that stuff just memorized down to the nitty gritty wire. This was probably the first time I really recall liking Skarmory, like when I fought this gym down, I'm like, man, that thing's awesome. I think it was because I had nothing that could take a steel type down at the time. Anyway, well, that was a tough battle. A very tough battle. But that was fun. I really had fun doing that. 
all level po uh, all level 70 Pokemon will now obey you up to level 70 with the Feather Badge, and she's gonna give you the TM40 Aerial Ace, and you could also use Fly Outside Bale. Now, Aerial Ace is a pretty cool move, and I'm pondering teaching it to Absol, mostly because Absol does not learn a lot of good moves, so I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with that. I have achieved a liftoff. Yes, how very excellent.